What is up you guys? It's James from James Jet Tiles. Back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Christmas gift ideas for someone who either has reptiles or is trying to get their first reptile. So if you know someone like that, this is going to be the video you want to watch. Stay tuned, but first we're going to do some quick updates on my animals. Just at a screen right there, you can't see it. I filled up that tub with more Dubia roaches, so I have four colonies going again eventually. I'll have five. I hopefully sell that doobie or that hissing cockroach on six. So on a local Facebook group specifically asked me if I want to sell any. I was like the first response. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll message you. I messaged him. And I haven't heard anything back. So it is what it is. I guess he must not have really been looking. But I want to show you these two geckos. First off, we have three of the four tanks up right now. I don't know if I want to set up the fourth one yet. I think I'd rather set up a whole nother rack before I do that, just so I always have an empty one. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do, sell a couple geckos and I can put up a new rack and then eventually put some more tanks on it. But specifically, these two geckos right here, this girl is Sarah and this girl is Tegan. I guess that's like a lesbian couple duo thing. Uh, these, were given, these were both given to me by my buddy, Tommy. Uh, he's kind of, he didn't want as many crested geckos, he said they're both laying eggs. He kept them in the same tank, and one was laying slugs and one was laying nice curly whites. So you would imagine, one's way bigger, one's way smaller, that this was laying the good eggs, this was laying infertiles. I caught her last night laying a clutch of eggs, and they look pearly white, and I, I candled them, and they're nice and good, so I moved her out, and if I get any infertile eggs, in the enclosure that she's in with one other female that I know for sure she's laying infertiles. If I only get nice eggs from that enclosure, then I also know that it was just something she wasn't laying good eggs while she was at his house, something between her and the male. The male obviously was working well with someone. I'm not sure what was going on there, but just a little update on those guys. I'll put them back real quick. And I do have to make them labels, but I'm kind of waiting to make labels. I have two babies that I need names for. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, check out my other video on my Instagram if you want to see those babies. Those two need names. And this girl right here, my newest gecko. Let's see where she's at. I just had her out earlier. Oh, she's right there in front. I'm blind. She actually blends in with the branch very well, which is part of the reason I decided to name her Willow. I put a poll on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram, I had four people wanted Demona, which my mom's boyfriend suggested, and three people wanted Willow, which an old coworker suggested. But on Facebook, everyone wanted Willow. So that's what we're going with. Her name's Willow. Willow, because she looks like a tree, and I think it's it suits her. I kind of, I personally like Demona better, but at the end of the day, I'm not upset by any means. So this is my new girl. Hopefully, I'll end up either buying a male or getting a male for her in, in the near future. Who knows, I might end up just buying one. We'll see what happens. But to get on to the main portion of the video, we're going to be talking about gifts and gift ideas and what not to get people who are into reptiles and own reptiles. The first and most important thing is you never buy someone a live animal. If they are, if they're ready for a live animal, they will buy it in time. If you get them a live animal and they're not as ready as you think they are, it could potentially harm the animal, stress the animal out if they have to wait in the cup, if, you, if they have to go out and spend a bunch of money on something they didn't have yet. Um, if you buy them an animal and it's not the animal they were waiting for or saving up for or building an enclosure for, it just takes that much more. They have to go switch over everything and buy a whole new enclosure for this animal and it messes everything up for the animal they really wanted. Nevertheless, feeder insects can be really good, especially if you know what they use. Um, I know when I buy crickets, the only problem is I actually end up over buying crickets. I don't have too much that eats crickets. Right now with my leopards cooled, I just have baby scorpions and sometimes the crested geckos, but that's about it. More things, uh, I know everyone loves empty tanks. I know 
tanks are big, sometimes they're expensive. You can get cheap tanks, you can get not cheap tanks. These run about $100. These are awesome gifts. They also have smaller ones that are like 50, 60 bucks. For a single gecko, I think that would be a really awesome gift for someone if it's their first animal, uh, if they've been wanting one. The tank can be the great first, the first thing that gets them going. If you buy your, your, your son, your niece, your nephew, your grandkids a tank, a little smaller than this for one gecko, it's the perfect size for one adult gecko. And then it gives them the perfect opportunity. You know, they got the gift cards for, for Walmart, for Target, for maybe even Petco if their mom knows what they want. They can go and pick out a bunch of decorations and it's all set up and that's when they can get their gecko. Uh, one thing, especially if they already have an animal, Pangea, especially if you've got crested geckos, uh, gargoyle geckos, I know I went over feeder insects. Pangea, I'm not even sure if it expires. I'm sure it does, but a little bag like this won't expire at the time they use it. And it's always great to have, it's always good to have different flavors. It's always good to have more just in case it happens to go bad or in case they run out. Another thing that is always useful is plants, fake decorations are always useful. It helps it uh, change it up if they want to switch the enclosure around. It kind of gives the animal a little enrichment and it gives whoever you're buying it for a little choice as to what they put in. You know, as you see my tanks, it's always the same kind of leaves. It's always in the same organization. That just works for me as a breeder. But as someone who's keeping animals as just pets, it's fun to change it up. And I know that from personal experience. The last thing I'm gonna recommend is a gift card. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to recommend if you have a local reptile store. I know a lot of them do gift certificates or gift cards or something like that you can go in and buy. That would be awesome. That allows the person to pick out whatever they want. Uh, Amazon gift card with the intent for buying reptile stuff. That's always a good one. I would try to stay away from Petco or Pets Mart. It's it's nothing. It's it's they don't always have the best selection or the right information about these animals. You know they don't specialize in reptiles. They do everything. If you want reptile specific advice, go to a, you don't go to. Uh, a cat and dog vet to have your horse work on. You know what I'm saying? You don't go to you don't go to the emergency room to get your your joint replaced. It's not something you do. You have a plan. You have a specialist, and you get the right information and the right kind of procedure done. That's what you do with animals. You go to the right people. You get the right information. You buy the right equipment. That being said, I really hope you guys learn something, uh, take something away from this. Don't let my video be the only one you watch. Uh, I know a lot of people want to say, oh, they have the best information. I have some information. I have information that I've gained from my experience. Go watch some other videos. Christmas is coming up. A lot of people are going to be buying gifts soon. Uh, a lot of people, if, if, if you have someone who, who wants a reptile and you know that, plan with their parents, plan with the family around them, see what they're getting the child and get something to add on to that. Nevertheless, I'm James from James Reptiles. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'm at 19 subscribers, one away from 20. I'd love to hit 20. When we hit 20, I'll, I'll do a giveaway. I promise. I'll do, a, I'll do a gecko giveaway, a local one, most likely. Uh, but make sure to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, jamesjeptowns at gmail.com. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And enjoy your night. Merry, happy holidays.